Hey, Brighton, how are you? I'm wonderful, but that outfit is giving me a little bit of PTSD right now. Okay, me too, but let me tell you why. So the day before you guys played, I went to England and played as well for three days. I did play Red Light, Green Light, Marbles, and then Dalgona, and I lost during that because I got the umbrella. I bet it was a little different than what we had. I have the best number here. Four, three, two. One go because I'm the one. You're only missing the one. <laughs> I'm the one. What game do you feel like you were most prepared for? Did you like practice anything before you went in? <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I didn't even watch season one of Squid Game and I didn't practice anything. I wanted to practice the cookie challenge with my mom, but it's just, it was too hard to prepare. And then Red Light, Green Light was just athleticism can't really prepare for that you know it's kind of just whatever happens happens and then battleships it all caught us by surprise so i uh couldn't even prepare for that if i wanted to players 270 and 432 eliminated who were you closest with in the games like when you got eliminated who were you like i hope you win uh brad giles because brad's actually the team that eliminated me in battleships and whenever i got done i was like damn you know i really hope brad wins he was just a genuine character just overall great guy i heard his backstory and what he comes from so i was really hoping that brad won what surprised you most about the game something you didn't expect the amount of people you know i knew it was 456 but seeing that many people in one area is a completely different story so and everybody was different. So I guess the diversity of the show blew me away because there was people from everywhere. There was all types of people and everybody bonded and everybody got to, and not everybody got along, but it was, you know, it was, it was good. It was good being able to see different cultures, see different languages, see different beliefs, everything. So it was, blew me away. Look, let me tell you something, come here. Let me tell you something. No, I'm not touching you, don't touch me, I'm not touching you. At least the way it played out on the show is you almost had a target on your back pretty much out of the gate. Was it like that in there for you? Is there anything that you wish you did differently? Uh, it was definitely like that in there for me, uh, but I knew that going into it. I knew I was going to be one of the youngest contestants. Uh, my backstory was also the athlete, the, the this, the that, and I know how that's viewed. So, uh, I knew that that big target was on my back the whole time I was in there, but I'm glad I went about the challenge the way I did, because if I would have, I had a conversation with my stepdad before I left. I was like, you know, I might just stay in the corner and be quiet and not be who I really am. And he was like, but then it's going to come on the screen and you're just going to be mad at yourself. And I was like, you know what? You have a very good point. So I went there with the mentality of make a name for yourself. Whatever you got to do, just make a name for yourself. You might be liked, you might be hated, but at the end of the day, it's your life. You can't can't really control what other people think. But, but you have you to know. realize if people think that I'm not going to be myself for a split second. Is it totally yourself? 1000%. See, that's, then that's what you are. Why did you want to go into this game? I feel like you're, you know, I could see you on like, love is blind, too hot to handle. <laughs> um. Wow. Um, so long story short, I used to play football. I was in college. I couldn't play anymore. I had four knee surgeries, so I had to give it back. I had to give it up back in 2020 and it kind of crushed me. You know, I was at I was at this small town up in South Carolina. I went to Clemson and it's just a, if anybody knows, it's a small college town. There's not much to do there. So over the course of a few years, I was just going downhill, not downhill, like in a really, really bad way, but downhill mentally, I was like, I don't have anything to do. I just, I'm gonna graduate college and go work and just ugh, like my life is gonna be over. And I got this random opportunity and I was like, you know what, let's just go take it and see what it does. So it was more of a, more of a risk for me to, I guess, uh, benefit the most in life instead of just getting a degree, going work a job. I saw myself doing something much larger. So I had to go take the risk. Control your emotions. This is not a game of sympathy at all. Obviously, we, we see you guys pretty much playing the games the whole time, but was there anything that was kind of tough about the psyche of being in this place where it's there's no windows, you're like a Vegas casino, you really don't know what time it is or concept, and you're just around people 24-7? Yeah, actually, the whole time I was there, I 
kept telling the producers and people that we were with, I was like, this does not feel like a TV show. This feels like I'm actually living real life. That's, they did a really, really, really good job with the set. I mean, the only time you feel like this isn't your real life is whenever you have to walk and go do a different challenge, you know? Then you're like, damn, yeah. I finally get out of this room. But it, uh, it feels like real life whenever you're in there. I see everybody getting eliminated. I'm just like, damn. I don't think I'm gonna make it. The red light, green light is wild. I, I keep saying this, but like, it was really about how you landed, like planted your feet versus anything else. Tell me, I was getting made fun of. This is how I knew I had a target on my back because the moment I walked in there, I was trying to help people. I was like, hey, if y'all shuffle sideways, you'll be able to, you know, stand still and you'll be able to stand straight up. And they're like, that's the stupidest idea. We'll never make it in time, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, okay, whatever. And so I saw plenty of people running straight as fast as they could, couldn't stop themselves, or they would be moving or all types of stuff. So I, uh, the, the feet placement was definitely number one. If you were mid stride, it was so incredibly painful. Oh, I got caught in a, I got caught in like damn near a squat position. And I had my hands in my pockets and I was almost shaking. I, I thought I was gonna get eliminated right there. And yeah. It was brutal. It was really brutal. Yeah, for me, I just feel like I just want I just want to at least survive red light, green light. Yeah, that's what was going through my head. I was like, I just want to make it through this and then whatever happens after that. So when you guys were in there, there was this article that came out. It was like the day after you guys played red light, green light, that was like the conditions on set were terrible and it was freezing. Did that equal your experience? Were you surprised to read that? Um, I was very surprised that somebody ran to the media that fast because they're just really upset that they got eliminated really quick. Um, and we kind of saw through that. Everybody that was still on the show, we we saw right through that. And we were like, we cannot believe. The conditions, of course, you know what you're signing up for. You're not signing up for a beach trip on Hawaii. You're signing up for something to win $4.5 million. It's not going to be easy. And I think, the, I think the people who were really invested into the show, they knew that. And then I think the people on the outside who kind of weren't really invested, they just wanted to go just to go. I didn't, they probably didn't expect the conditions to uh, be that bad. Lastly, would you go in again? Uh, if, uh, if they pay me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah nah, I would, um, the experience, was, it was great. I, I would go back, not for free. Uh, that's just me personally, but yeah. everybody's different, but no, I can't. Uh, the, the challenge in itself was really, really good. It, it felt like a, felt like a movie. And it's yeah. something that I'll be able to tell my kids about. And it was a great experience.